Good evening and welcome to Portland Columbia Symphony's Percussion Ensemble and Friends virtual concert. My name is Michael Charles Smith and I am a professional marimba soloist, educator, and composer here in Portland, Oregon. We have been working extremely hard to put together an exciting concert and have gone to great lengths to make sure we recorded it very safely and responsibly in this time. And while everything takes just a little more time, or a lot more time, uh, to produce virtually, um, there are many benefits that are going to get passed on to the audience in this circumstance. The marimba is such a beautiful instrument, and the reason I fell in love with it was playing it and hearing the sound coming out from the top of the instrument and being right over the top. And what's really neat about tonight is that you're going to see the instrument the way I see the instrument, and you're going to hear it exactly how I hear it. And the, the, the microphones are right above the instrument, so you get to hear all the nuance and what the instrument would sound like if you were playing it yourself. And the instrument that I'm playing on tonight is a marimba one five octave wave. It's a gorgeous instrument made in Arcata, California uh, by the best marimba makers in the world. And so you're going to get to see this instrument up close and personal. The instrument is so beautiful and so warm that uh, it doesn't translate super well through an iPhone speaker. So if you have time and have the means, pause the video right now and put on some headphones or hook your device that you're going to be listening to the concert to into a Bluetooth speaker or a larger speaker system that's going to be able to handle the warmth of the instrument. And the way I've recorded it with two mics on each side, uh, the instrument, if you're wearing headphones, travels in and out of your head back and forth, just as if you were standing up above the instrument. The first piece on the concert tonight is the Lacrimosa from Mozart's Requiem. Uh, this was arranged by one of my students and I, uh, William Francis, and we started arranging it about two years ago. We could have never imagined the tragic circumstances in which we would be premiering this piece, and so we have moved it to the front of the concert to honor those that we've lost over the last year. This piece will be performed by four students from four different high schools around the Portland area. These kids have been playing together for many, many years, and we've been working on this piece for about a year online, on Zoom. We've worked very hard, and we hope that you enjoy our version of the Lacrimosa.
The next piece on the concert is entitled Water, and I'll be playing the first movement of this three movement piece that was inspired by the paintings of Kenton Nelson. Uh, Kenton and I met a few years ago at PDX Airport when I was playing, and he came up to me and loved my music, and we had a great conversation and always had talked about doing a project together you know, that would bring together his visuals and my music. It wasn't five or six months later that he had contacted me and told me about a new show of paintings that he was producing and a new book entitled uh, Water, Californian Idealism. And this is based off all of his paintings that have a common theme of water. Out of the three movements that I wrote for water, two of them were arranged by the great Van Dyke Parks for strings and marimba and will probably be premiered at some later date. Uh, the first movement didn't really have a home until this concert was proposed and it was a tremendous opportunity to get this piece out. And when it's in video form, we can incorporate all kinds of visuals. And for many years, Kenton has also worked with a filmmaker named Erwin Darmali, who has been filming him and taking pictures and photographing him while he's been painting these paintings. So it was perfect. We proposed I would record myself playing the piece that I had written for Kenton's paintings and Irwin would edit that together with the visuals and some footage of Kenton making these paintings. And Irwin's been working very hard on this and it's incredible. And we hope that you enjoy Kenton's paintings and Irwin's beautiful filmmaking and my music.
The third piece on the program tonight is the Nimrod from the Enigma Variations by Elgar. And this piece has a very special story as I played this uh, Enigma Variations in Portland Columbia Symphony many years ago. The Nimrod in particular, that movement, there's no percussion. And so we like to leave the stage during rehearsals if we're not playing. And so never really got to experience the full sound and the, and the melodies because I had never, I wasn't super familiar with the piece. And it wasn't until the night of the concert um, that I really heard that movement. And I was, you know, sitting in the middle of the orchestra. And as it progressed, I was just overwhelmed with emotion, became teary. And I think it's my favorite moment playing in the orchestra. And I wasn't actually playing. <laughs> it's just getting to experience the music from inside the orchestra. Um, and it was a week or two later that I convinced one of my high school groups to let me arrange it for them. And we performed it in one of our concerts and, uh, and then reached out to a local percussion sheet music publisher, Tap Space Percussion. And they published it and now it's being played all over the world by different marimba groups. And what's really special about tonight's performance of the Nimrod is that is that Jim Casella, who's one of the owners of Tap Space, is going to be performing it with us on this concert. And so we really hope that you enjoy our version of the Nimrod.
So the last piece on the concert tonight is the Concerto for Marimba and Percussion Ensemble, written by Ney Rosaro, a Brazilian percussionist and composer. Ney Rosaro is marimba royalty, and this piece is undoubtedly the, the most famous piece written for the instrument. It's a piece I've been in love with for 20 years and have always dreamed of playing it, and now I've had the opportunity to learn it and been working tremendously hard on it over the last year. It's very rare in the musical world to get to talk to a living composer of, of works for a specific instrument, but since marimba is very new to the classical realm, many of the composers that have written the most famous works for the instrument are still living. And in normal times, I might not have decided to reach out to the composer, uh, but since we're in quarantine, I reached out and I ended up doing a lesson with Ney Rosaro himself on, on Zoom. I recorded myself performing the piece with the backing tracks that I made for all of us to, to listen to while we were recording our parts. And I sent them to Ney and he let me know when he had some notes together and we got together on Zoom. And he is a delightfully gentle and an incredibly brilliant person to, to get to work with. Um, right when I got on with him, he said that my interpretation of the piece was very, very close to his own and that he didn't have that many, that many notes to tell me on what I could change. And then of course he got the list of notes out and there was a few things on the list. <laughs> I am very fortunate to be playing it with such wonderful musicians tonight. Uh, we hope that you enjoy our version of the Concerto for Marimba and Percussion Ensemble, written by Ney Rosaro. Thank you. 